Hi, John Lay here with another hot take. Today's hot take is on bench prep. Bench prep is an organization out of Chicago that focuses on high stakes assessments and organizations that need test preparation and test activities. Some of those type of verticals would be membership associations, credentialing bodies, uh, training companies, and then the concept of corporate credentialing are the four verticals uh, that they play in. They're really one of the few LMSs that's built with uh, certification training and test prep as their main focus. And what they espouse to their clients, uh, their numerous clients inside those four verticals, is that the tools and services that Bench Prep provides allows students to master the knowledge and the questions and the format of the test to take a high take high stakes exam with proctoring and, and so forth. And so uh, they help through that practice mode to make confident or make students more confident uh, on their ability to take a test. What this means for the organizations that are deploying bench prep is that they drive more revenue. And a big focus of how bench prep approaches the marketplace and their clients is really through the lens of helping them drive revenue and new ways of helping them drive revenue. And so they uh, have a whole bunch of services and, and solutions uh, that are all run off the same product base to help organizations that might have uh, a test, but they don't have the prep or the training part or vice versa. And they help them develop the next part and uh, drive, uh, drive measurable revenue. And then the third pillar that they, they espouse is, is the analytics. So they've got really nice uh, deep analytics from a dashboard standpoint and from, I'm sure, a raw data standpoint on all kinds of things that are really psychometric uh, data level uh, detail uh, for all these test questions and for all the content so that their customers can get good vision into when people are dropping out of tests, what questions are uh, hard, which ones are everybody getting wrong. You know, it sounds like some of the familiar stuff, but it's not because they have it all broken down into an interface and categories and subcategories of questions. And you can rate those questions from medium to uh, to uh, difficult and it, it different ratings. And then they got a confidence rating that's built into that. And so they can take all that data and give the individual learner and then give uh, the organization themselves incredible data and insight into how well all that's performing. That's important when it's your business. And I think that's the whole idea of bench prep and their approach to the marketplace is that these, these big organizations in those four verticals are trying to make money from content. And so they want to provide the tools for learners to succeed, the tools for administrators and the organization to not fly blind, but really have a good insight into their business and to do all that to, to drive revenue uh, in an exponential way, as it turns out. Uh, some of their uh, examples, uh, just from a, a client base, it's, I always like to, as you know, talk about what measurements uh, they're, they're quoting, but a 22% increase from ROI training programs with a 17% increase in knowledge with Richardson's sales performance. Uh, McGraw-Hill Education increased their learner base by 10% uh, with best prep, Bench Prep Act. Uh, students who use Act's online uh, prep scores uh, scored 32% better on the practice exam, so getting comfortable with the exam uh, before they, they take it is a, a good example. And Here's a couple more. The Graduate Management Admission Council had 96% of the ex executive assessment candidates felt ready for the test. CompTIA saw a 20% increase in revenue after the launch of Bench Prep. The AAMNC uh, moved from, uh, well, that one doesn't have any numbers. We'll, we'll, uh, that's not as good as the one. Uh, so that's what they do is they, they really help with that uh, question and answer. So they have the authoring tools that allow you to create the training. That's pretty basic. It looks like a simple content assembly. Put a video, put some text, put a graphic. Uh, where the engine is, is in the, the, the actual assessment engine. So you can have competencies and subcompetencies and categories and subcategories and the practice questions. And you can create a practice session for yourself. You know, I want questions from this category, this category, all difficult, all easy. Put it together. I'll give myself 20 minutes. Uh, and so you can create and, and practice like that. Uh, all in all, oh, they have flashcards and discussion and gamification to help spur along uh, the learner. When you're answering questions, you always have to answer the confidence level. You don't have to, but you have the option 
to do that. I have a small little thing where you can strike out an answer. So if you remember studying for a test where you eliminate the answers that are obviously wrong. So they had that concept built in. You can take notes, you can highlight, you have a whiteboard, uh, things like that. So all in all, it's a really nice uh, platform and solution for organizations that are offering uh, high stakes exams. If you're one of them and any of these are your competitors up here, uh, you might want to check out Bench Prep and see how they can help open up another stream of revenue for your for your organization. Well, there you have it. There's another hot take from John Lay. You can find more of our independent resources at talentlearning.com. We hope to see you on the next.